Hey everybody, I got a special treat for you. We're here with Julie. Hi Julie. Hi. Julie's a great friend and my biggest authority on PR, public relations. We were just sitting down and talking and we just spoke about the maybe the biggest faux pas that companies do when they talk about their PR when they start a PR program. Do right. you mind sharing with us what we just uh, revealed? Yeah, and it may even seem really obvious, but one of the biggest faux pas people make is they just talk about themselves. Um, when in reality they could have the best product or technology or service, but it really only matters in the context of how it's going to help your audience. I understand. I like talking about myself, but if someone doesn't know you, talking about yourself usually does more harm than good, right? Well, think of it if you're going to a party or meeting someone for the first time. You wouldn't just talk about yourself. That's not considered an exceptional social skill. You want to talk to the other person and find out, find out what interests them. So when putting together a PR campaign, I always advise my clients to spend maybe 20% of their time, you know, um, telling their news, whether it's a new customer, whether it's a new feature, but the other 80% really should be inserting yourself into a conversation that's already happening. So you had a great example about a cybersecurity company of what they can do and what they should do. Would you mind sharing? Right, sure. So I work with a lot of technology companies and um, they're very, it's very issues-based industry. So for example, if you have a cybersecurity related product, you wouldn't walk into a press interview and just talk all about your product and the features. You would want to relate it to what's going on in the rest of the world. So for example, you should be out there talking about every time there um, maybe a new network has been hacked, there's a new phishing scam out there, um, they've uncovered a new vulnerability. You want to be out there showing your thought leadership, showing you know why this happened, how we can prevent it next time. And because the truth is, is that people really want to buy from, ex from experts. So if you show you're an expert through your knowledge, um, people are going to want to buy from you. Makes a lot of sense. So don't talk about it. Don't say I'm great. Show that you're great. Show the solution. So show that there's an issue and this is how you're going to solve that issue. Julie, this was awesome. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to do this again sometime. That would be great. And um, it's been a pleasure. Would love to.